To improve the precision of estimates of the first derivative, we can include additional points in the Taylor series expansions. Here we'll introduce the three-point backward difference method for calculating an estimate of the first derivative. The three-point backward difference method requires two Taylor series expansions, both around the point at which we want to find the first derivative. One of them calculates f at x i minus 1, and the other calculates f at x i minus 2. Similar to the two-point central difference method, we truncate after the second order terms, and then we subtract four times the first equation from the second equation to cancel the second derivative terms. This results in an expression relating the first derivative of f to f at x i, x i minus 1, and x i minus 2. Solving for the first derivative provides a formula with a truncation error of order h squared, based on three points. We can perform a similar derivation to obtain a three-point forward difference estimate for the first derivative using the points xi, xi plus 1, and xi plus 2. Or we can derive a four-point central difference formula using the points xi minus 2, xi minus 1, xi plus 1, and xi plus 2. Including more points can be helpful, particularly when there is experimental uncertainty. Similar methods can be used to derive finite difference approximations for higher order derivatives. Here we'll use the example of the three-point backward difference formula for the second derivative. In this case, we write the Taylor series expansions around the point f at xi for the points at xi minus 1 and xi minus 2, and we truncate these after the second derivative terms. However, now instead of eliminating the second order terms, we want to eliminate the first derivatives of f with respect to x, so we'll multiply the first equation by 2 and subtract it from the second equation. Then we'll solve for the second derivative of f at x. This results in a formula for the second derivative of f at x using the points at xi minus 2, xi minus 1, and xi. That is a three-point backward difference estimate. Because solving for the second derivative of f requires dividing by 2h squared, we end up with a truncation error of order h. We can similarly derive forward and central difference formulas for the second derivative. Without derivation, these are given here. The forward difference method has a truncation error of order h, just like the backward difference method does, and the central difference formula comes from using Taylor series expansions at, to predict the points at xi minus 1 and xi plus 1, and results in a truncation error of order h squared. Similar to the first derivative estimates, the second derivative estimates using the same number of points are better if we use a central difference formula than if we use a forward or backward difference formula. Finite difference formulas for first through fourth derivatives using various numbers of points are summarized in table 6.3 from chapter 6 of the methods text, along with their corresponding truncation errors. In the next video, we'll talk about a different strategy. Here, we can see that by adding additional points to the finite difference formulas, we can improve the truncation error. In the next video, we'll talk about a different strategy called Richardson's extrapolation that can be used to improve the truncation error.